Now, there are a number of shocks and surprises in Bright Wolf. Beautiful piece, my boy. It reminds me of your mother. First time she visited the hall, she played that very piece. And I thought her the most beautiful and talented girl in the world. You did love mother once, then? Love her? Of course I loved her. It just seems strange. All I can remember are your furious arguments. And the way she grew more and more afraid of you. Hold your tongue. No. I want to know what it was she feared. I want to know what it is you've been hiding from me all my life. Calm yourself. We'll pretend this conversation never took place. Pretend? God in heaven, that's all we ever do is pretend. You say this piece reminds you of Mother. Well, I have memories too. I'll never forget her screams the night Gideon died. The one night she needed your love, and you blamed her. I could hear everything from my room. Hitting her and hitting her. Hopes! The most beautiful and talented lady in the world. Yes, that's what mother was, and your cruelty killed her. Your mother was a weak little fool who couldn't face the truth. She was weak like you, boy. Gideon was strong, he would have continued the line. But she let him die. My son to his room stops. Will he be needing his medicines? Yes, and double the quantity. I'll not drink it! Then force it down his throat! The Torbany line has remained unbroken since the conquest, and it will remain unbroken, and no curse and no weakling will stop it! Get him out of my sight! I wish you believe what I've told you, Stephen. I can't understand tales of witchcraft and changelings. You think I let my imagination take hold of me? Well, I, I didn't I... dream the monster. It was as real as that hideous corpse. I know the villagers are scared to go near the hall. I put that down to superstitious nonsense. But I suppose something must have driven Lady Daubeny out of her wits. Did Aunt Helena go mad then? You mean you haven't realised? Realised what? The escaped lunatic. The corpse he found in the belfry. That was Lady Daubeny. Aunt Helena? Oh, no. Then Uncle George lied to me. Christian believes she died years ago, I'm sure of it. Something at Daubeny Hall drove her mad. All I know is she was killed by a maniac. Mercifully, you were too frightened to notice. But that body had been drained of every drop of blood. Poor Aunt Eleanor. What happened to all that blood?
You're not leaving us, Emily. You will never leave Daubery Hall. Am I your prisoner, Uncle? We are all prisoners here, Emily. Of Stopes and his ancestors. Of Stopes? Stopes is a witch. But Christian depends on Stopes. He always says so. That is the exquisite irony of the Bardolf curse. That through the centuries, the Daubney should depend upon those murderous wretches for the one substance that can bring relief from their inherited agonies. Blood, Emily. Human blood. Blood that gives me strength. Blood that prevents my son and I from degenerating into baying beasts. That was the knowledge that drove Christian's mother to madness. She didn't want to bear my children. She didn't understand that the Daubeny line must continue. It was Eleanor that killed Gideon Emily, and she would have poisoned Christian if I hadn't committed her to the asylum. You liar! It's true, Christian. Would to God that I were lying. But why? Your mother wanted the Daubeny line to die and the Daubeny curse to die with it. It was my duty. No one must ever know our secret. Hold, Emily. Your wife is dead, Uncle. She was the escaped lunatic. She escaped and was murdered. Murdered for her blood. Ah! 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 Get away, Emily. Go now. Chaos! I am Lord of Chaos! 